didn't you do it in a quite an unorthodox, but maybe not surprising, <laughs> considering your your years in the <laughs> army uh, way? Can you tell us about that? Sure. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Uh, and again, I think we've made great progress in the U.S. And I know that I know the Department of Defense has. But at the point where I knew that I needed to make a change, there, I did not feel like there were a number of viable resources for me. I was I was highly ashamed of where I'd gotten. Uh, you know, it would have it would have been highly detrimental in my career. Uh, you know, to, to bring this up as, as an issue, or I, I felt like it was at that time. So I locked myself in the guest room and, uh, and basically quit cold turkey after six years uh, in, a, in a, not, a, a not very pleasant uh, week of time. It took you seven days. And did your family oh know that you were going through this all this time, or did you keep it a secret from everyone? Yeah, it was it was by and large a secret. I think I think more people, uh, particularly after I started talking it about it, were aware that there was something wrong. Right? I mean, I it's all good until it's not. And then I think um, I think when people look in retrospect, the signs were there. But in terms of making it public that I was going through this, uh, even with closest friends and family. No, it was it was something I I did on my own. So I feel mm. like for me that exercise <clears throat> staves off demons for me. I think you've used yeah. the word demon yourself, and maybe a lot of us <laughs> who yeah. have Dotsy also dealt with um, addiction, it, especially sadness or depression. I feel like part of me thinks. If I don't exercise, I might fall into that abyss again. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if running is something that you're doing to stave off those feelings, but in a, in a healthy way. So yeah. are, you, are you dealing with your feelings more than you were when you were uh, an opioid addict, or is running helping you avoid them again? <laughs> Now, it, that's one of the best questions anyone's ever asked me. I, I think this sounds contrived, but you have to be running towards something, not running away from something. Um, you know, and I think it has to be done in conjunction with a number of other activities, be it therapy, healthy living, uh, you know, surrounding yourself with, with uh, a positive circle of people that lift you up. So running is, is fundamental to, to my growth and existence. So do you feel, so to answer my question, you feel like you are still dealing with your pain, but running helps you deal with it. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, yeah. Or I'm maybe a, you don't I'm have pain because what I find is that because my life is so good now, I kind of right. just was able to skip over a lot of that. I don't have to sit in it yeah. and go over it and stuff. <laughs> so maybe you're just able yeah, to my, skip over yeah, it. I, I, I think no, I'm, I'm in a really good spot and have been for a while. And I'm tremendously happy and, and grateful uh, I think that running plays a key component in my mental and emotional and spiritual health. But unlike when I first started running, when I first, you know, rejected this idea that I would never be able to run again, my motivation is is dramatically different. So at first, you know, this, this first two and three mile slogs around my neighborhood in, in North Carolina when I was uh, trying to fix so many parts of my life. That was definitely a healing salve to, you know, really to kind of dampen my sadness and, and depression, where now it's, you know, some, you know, some years later, uh, I'm getting ready to run as soon as we get done with this. I mean, I, I can't wait to get out here uh, in the mountains and, and run in the space that I, I live in. So I think it, it can be all things to everyone, but running to me now is simply defined as joy. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If we helped you in any way, then click the subscribe button and let's keep hanging out together. We have so much more to share with you. And if you need more information on actually making the switch for good, 
please visit us at switchforgood.org for loads of info. And you can subscribe to our mailing list where you will receive all sorts of super cool gifts, discount codes to our very fave dairy-free products, and a lifetime of powerful health tips. So join us on the journey to Switch for Good. This is the future.